Hey there, I want to review the book Millionaire Fastlane. I'm doing a video review and I'll start off by saying that I tend to skim and skip around in books a lot. So I've probably read somewhere between 50 and 75% of this book. So I'm giving a review based on not having read it word for word from front to back. So keep that in mind. With that being said, I will say that I found it to so far be very interesting and useful um, and right up front, I'll go ahead and give it a numerical value. I'll say somewhere between eight and somewhere between eight and nine out of ten stars is what I would rate it on a ten star scale. I think that gives a little bit more accuracy than like a five star scale or something like that. Uh, I'd give it two thumbs up. Uh, yeah. So with that being said, and things I liked about it so far is the his story D, DJ DJ DeMarco I believe is the author um, I like his story on how he sort of took his path to get where he is at currently um, and that in itself is entertaining and then I'll, I'll give a couple of the key points that I found interesting and re resonated and basically just the general sort of premise of the book, you know, so the, the title is Millionaire Fastlane, and it talks about how to become wealthy. Um, one thing that stuck out in my mind recently is that he says, you know, I think something like, uh, you know, $5 million is the new $1 million. You know, people maybe in the 1990s, you know, they, they want to be a millionaire. Well, now because of inflation and whatever else, I'm presuming that's why he's saying this. Uh, you know, and cost of living and so on and so forth. Five million is the new one million. And then the whole premise, the millionaire fast lane, so he talks about the millionaire slow lane, and he uses the metaphor, I'm pretty sure he uses that term, millionaire slow, slow lane as well, but he uses the metaphor of a road. So, you know, the fast lane is, you know, becoming a multimillionaire in maybe seven years. You know, the slow lane is, you know, working in a job for 30 to 50 years, uh, and being able to retire at that point. That's the slow lane. And then there's like the sidewalk, you know, which is, um, <laughs> you know, being poor your whole life and not, not being able to really ever retire, uh, you know, being broke. Um, and then also, I think it, he used the metaphor of like being a passenger. And so he talks about, you know, the general strategy and ideas of how to be in the fast lane, how to get in the fast lane. Um, and, you know, I... I'm giving it a decent review because I found it enjoyable to read so far, and also I I think the theory of the ideas seems solid. So, but based on that, have I put it into action and successfully ex executed it? Probably not exactly. Uh, and another takeaway point um, is he talks about basically, you know, one principle is if you want to become wealthy, if you want to get in the fast lane, rather than being a consumer you know, being, uh, rather than being primarily a consumer, um, you know, switching and trying to be more of a producer. So instead of sitting around watching TV all day, you're creating, you know, things for people to watch. Instead of reading all day, you're writing things for people to read. And, you know, instead of going to the mall and buying stuff all the time, you're, you know, having things manufactured or creating things to sell to people. You know, so um, I think that's a very key point. Um, and again, what I'm saying in the last, you know, few minutes of this review is my understanding of what I read, it's out of my memory and my understanding. So, um, it's, it's accurate. What I'm saying is accurate as far as I can remember exactly. So, and I'm basically sort of, yeah, I think these are some of the overarching ideas that again, from what I read of the book, and I've not read every word of it, word for word, page for page probably, but I've read, you know, a lot of it, most of it. Uh, and yeah, so based on what I've read and so far I'd I'd recommend so yeah so ultimately should you buy it you know if it's I'm not sure what the price is right now I'm guessing right now you know if you're gonna buy the electronic version or the paper version it's gonna be somewhere between probably seven and fifteen dollars I'm guessing uh, and I could be wrong on that I haven't I'm not looking I'm not checking right now um, but you know is that gonna be worth it you know let, let's say it's eight dollars right now let's say it's, let's say it's ten dollars nine dollars is that worth it well maybe I'm giving it a good review I'm finding it entertaining um, you know if you're if you're in a city library and you're a 
you know, you don't even have a place to live and, you know, you don't have a dollar to your name. Should you buy this book? Well, maybe you ought to wait a little bit. I don't know. You know, it's your, it's your own call. <laughs> it's your own call. But, uh, you know, if you have some extra money lying around, um, maybe not a lot of extra money, but some extra money, is it worth it? Well, if you're going to buy a book, if, you, if you're going to buy a fictional book, if, you, if, you, if you've bought 10 fictional books in the last six months, and you've spent, you know, $100 on that, would I recommend that you buy this instead of the next fictional book? Definitely. You know, if you're going to spend your money, if, if, if you're going to go to the bar and buy, you know, spend 20 bucks on drinks, would I recommend that you drink less and buy this book instead? Definitely. You know? Uh, so yeah, be your own judge. Um, again, I'm giving it a good review. Eight to nine out of ten stars is what I would give it. Somewhere in there. Let's, if I'd go with a solid, you know, if, if I could do half stars, I'll go eight and a half out of ten stars. So that's like a solid B, B, you know, plus you round up, you know, so it's like a B plus. It's like a B, B plus. Pretty solid, I think. So anyway, um, yeah, so that's, this is a review of the book Millionaire Fastlane by DJ DeMarco, if my memory serves me correctly. Um, I'll end it there. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share this video with others, watch my other videos, visit my websites, and have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, or night, whenever and wherever you may be.